So Andrew's back today. We're gonna to do a lesson following his mock test where he got some faults. If you're interested in that video, I'll leave a link on screen in the top right hand corner. I have a list here of your faults. I'm excited to see it. You wouldn't show me before. Serious like, uh... and minors. You knew you didn't pass. I gave you a brief <laughs> debrief, although somehow it went 20 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but I've had time to really go back through the video to see exactly what you've done. I'm excited. So, 13 serious faults. How many can you have on a driving test before you fail? Like one. <laughs> so 12, one only serious or one dangerous <laughs> is a fail. <laughs> that's good, that's good. And then minors, I haven't actually added them up. I'm at two, four, uh, five, six, seven minors. Oh, okay, within the, the limit for minors then. But I would say quite a few of your serious faults was for totting up minors. Mm. There's only so many minors you can get in one area before it's like, well, that's going to be a serious now. Some people think it's free. That's not true. I've had countless tests where I've had people get more than three minors in the same area and still pass. It depends how minor the issue is. You can actually fail for just two minors if the minor is bad enough you'll get one minor and then that minor will turn to a serious the second time you do it. But usually they don't allow more than five minors in the same box. I can't recall a time where I've had more than five, although there may be. A lot of your serious marks though are in the same area. Okay. And you do actually have quite a lot of skill. Thank you. I don't think it's gonna take a huge amount of practice to improve your driving despite this disastrous result. <laughs> we should start with the compliments really, like what, how, how am I skilled at driving, where's the good? Before you give me all the bad, give me the good news so I can feel good and then, then give me the, what's, what's great? What's great is that after the test I gave him a little bit of help for about 20 minutes or so and I could see you improved quite quickly when I was helping you. I'm going to go over the serious faults now. Well, you've, they've been on screen, so I haven't had to say them to you because that would just take too long and be <laughs> boring me quoting 13 different things. Mirrors. You've got three serious marks for mirrors Ooh. because there's three boxes for mirrors. Mirrors signaling, yep. mirrors change direction, and mirrors change speed. Now, you didn't miss an important mirror check throughout the test. Mm -hmm. All the mirrors that were really important, you did arguably stopping at the side of the road, that is important, but every time you did it, there wasn't a car behind you. Mm -hmm. And because you just weren't checking your mirrors for signaling, you weren't checking your mirrors for changing direction, and you weren't checking your mirrors for changing speed throughout the test, all those minors, eventually it's just a serious for each. Yep. You're just not doing it. Mm -hmm. So three out of the 13 are for one area. But also you've got three serious marks for position. There's three boxes for position. Position, lane discipline. That is, if there's multiple lanes, um, say on a dual carriageway or a one-way road, are you staying in your lane? Oh yeah, lane, Are you yeah, driving uh... on the line? Are you in the correct lane? Should you go back to left lane after overtaking? Do you end up staying in the right lane of a dual carriageway? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so that's lane discipline. You've also got normal driving. That's your position in the road when you're driving normally, like now on a, on a two-way road or a country road. Are you too close to the center, too close to the curb? Mm -hmm. And then you've got position normal stops, which you do with parking. Are you blocking a driveway? Are you parking on the pavement? Are you parking near a junction? You've got a series for all those things. Wow, wow. So six series now, <laughs> basically one for mirror, mirrors and the other one for position. Uh -huh. Junctions, observations. Really, you that's had, a surprise You had a good, a good observations at junctions, but there's one that was an issue. Okay. Um, I'm gonna park that for now. Yeah, we'll that's have to. That's not what we're gonna be working on just yet because I, I can see a plan that's gonna help you quite a lot. I can see one area we can work on that's gonna help you with a lot of these faults. And that was a one-off issue that I'll get to later. That one really bad junction makes me want to go back and watch the mock test video linked down below right now, huh? See, there we go. Look at it. <laughs> Thank <Another> you. Plug -in. <laughs> Traffic lights, you. um, you've got a series for that. Use of speed, that was a one-off, the use of speed because you we're accelerating up towards 50 miles an hour before you got to the 50 sign. Generally speaking, you were within the speed limit. Awareness and planning, you got a series for that. And that is the overall problem here, I think. And that's what we're gonna be working on. That's gonna help you with your traffic lights. That's gonna help you with your mirrors. Mm -hmm. Because 
if you plan better and you're more aware, you'll have more time. You'll have yeah. more time to check your mirrors. I think you know why you should check your mirrors. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's, there's things behind you. And you need to know what's going on before you make your... Before yeah. you change your position or your speed. But if you're in a hurry because you haven't got enough time to do something because you're not planning and you're not aware until it's too late, mm -hmm. mirrors are going to go out the window. Yeah, You've just yeah. got time to turn around that car. You haven't got time to check your mirrors first. And even if you did check, you're probably doing it at the same time as steering, which is kind of pointless. Or you're checking it so late that if there is something there, you've got no time to react to it. I think I'm really rigorous when on motorways changing lanes, but it doesn't yep. feel like changing a lane on a... When I asked so you that's to change lane, yeah. on that test, when I asked you to change lane, uh, you checked your mirrors. And that's why I said to you, you didn't miss the really important mirror checks, yeah. like a lane change or moving I never away thought from... about it as being a lane change till just now in a residential area, but you're right, you're going into... Uh, well, they're not lanes, to be fair. They're two halves of the same road. Um, you could call it a lane. I don't, I don't really consider it a lane. You've got a different left side spot. and the right side. Yeah. But you're changing your position within that road significantly and someone yeah. could be passing you. Uh, you've got two serious marks on your reverse park. You, you didn't... It took too many movements. <laughs> you didn't really park very well. You made the same mistake I've, twice. Yeah, I've, and the other one was you weren't observing before going backwards. You weren't looking around, making sure that you would see something before it got to you. I felt that something could reach yep. you and you wouldn't notice. Mm -hmm. Clutch, that's what we're going to work on first. Okay. And then we're going to get to awareness and planning and that's going to solve a lot of these issues, I think. For mine, there's some minors, um, meeting, judgment. That is because you're getting too close to oncoming cars, at parked cars. Again, awareness and planning. Mm -hmm. Two minors for move off safety. Okay, that's... And, yeah, that is because, I see. and that is because you're actually doing good observations, you're making sure no one's coming, you're aware of what's behind, you're aware of what's in front, and then you start doing this. <laughs> and then you move off, and now the important check, what's coming up behind, is getting old. And that's because you're trying to please me. Yeah, no, I, I was, that's why I always learned, like, okay, the last check you want to do is your blind spot, so I was like, oh, No, the last check you old. do is behind. Okay. Last check... The, the blind spot is the least important check you do when you move away. That's what how I feel times, like. But how that's many what times I'm... have you seen something in your blind spot when you move away? <laughs> Never, but how that's why. How many times <laughs> are a car behind? It's important. You should yeah, yeah. do it, but it should not um, make your most important check old. I'm glad my intuition is on your side because I, I was just taught my driving test to do that. And I was like, okay, I'm going to impress them. My advice, make sure no one's coming from behind in the relevant mirrors. At the moment, these two mirrors are helping. That one's doing diddly squat. I can just see mm -hmm. a hedge. Um, and then the right blind spot where that driveway is, which now has a pickup truck parked over it. I'll That's check fun. there. But after I've checked there, uh -huh. I'll still be looking up here and ahead. Yeah, yeah, that's I'll still be I, aware. And you, you did to... that. You did that on um, a couple of occasions, but there are occasions when you weren't, and your, your observations getting too old. So I gave you a minor for move off safety. Okay. Uh, you went a bit slow on one of the country roads, at one off. Uh, really, I went a bit slow. Yeah, you, oh, okay. you, you, no, generally it's... speed was okay, okay. But there was just one. It was, it was minor, very minor. Almost. I remember going about twenty on one. Maybe that's the one we're talking about. I didn't but, yeah, mark okay. it, but I err uh, on the side of caution in my mock test because I've sat in on many many tests, probably hundreds. I've taught hundreds of people to drive and I understand that different examiners do mark faults that, should we say, some are more harsh than others. So I've, if I think an examiner is going to mark that, if any of them are going to mark it, I'm going to mark it just to make sure my pupil is prepared. It's better to um, remember more faults, too, few, too many faults than too few. Yeah. That's what you want. Signals timed, I can't remember, but it was a, a one-off minor thing and control gears Again, yeah, I can't uh... remember. That'll be getting in the wrong gear. I, got, I can't remember where that happened, but that's not what we're going to work on now. The first thing we're going to work on is this clutch control because you are jerky. You don't drive yeah, a manual yeah. car very often. And I think if I can help you with that, then we can move on to the next step and that'll help you with the rest. Yeah, I'm excited to learn. I, I wouldn't be here if I didn't want to improve my driving skills. Even if that means putting my mistakes on the internet, I think that's important so we can all learn together exactly what's wrong. And hopefully today, Everything oh, gets better. Oh, before we do the clutch, there's, there's a question you asked me. Oh, yeah. And I think I got the wrong end of the stick of that question, so my okay. answer may not have helped you. Okay. The question, I'll play a clip right now of the question he asked me. What's the legal distinction between like a city road where you can use the right lane whenever you feel like it and a dual carriageway? So essentially the question was, what's the difference between a city road and a dual carriageway? Yeah. Central reservation. So a 
doesn't matter how many lanes your side of the road has, it is not a dual carriageway unless there is a central reservation, a barrier in the middle separating the two Even if it's directions. a road between two cities, you're still, the, the reservation is when it becomes dual carriageway. Yes. Oh, if okay. there's multiple lanes, so approaching a roundabout, but no central reservation, that's not a dual carriageway. But sometimes there is a, not, it's not a reservation, but there's like a strip of grass or there's something. That's a central reservation. That counts. And so that counts, that even count. approaching a roundabout. Yeah, that counts. And so you have to wait till the very last minute to get out to the right. Not to the, not to the very <laughs> yeah, last the... <laughs> minute, but this is where I said it's okay. ridiculous. I do feel that, in my experience, in Colchester, there's a particular stretch of road between two roundabouts where when you leave one roundabout, you're forced to go into the right lane of the dual carriageway, and you don't actually have that long to get back to the left lane. And if you stay in the right lane, they fail you by the time you get to the next roundabout. Oh, man. Yeah. And as you're a new driver and you're not as fast as the experienced drivers, people undertake you and they're quite quick to undertake you. So unless you're really quick at getting to that left lane, you get failed. So I do make people aware of this when I'm teaching it. It is a, something that I think is ridiculous and I don't agree with it. But anyway. Yeah, it's wacky. <laughs> let's get to the clutch control. To help Andrew with clutch control, he's sitting in the passenger seat because I need to show you or teach you how to rev match using the clutch, not the gas. The gas is the hard way. If you're interested in that, I'll put a clip on screen now. Stay right in the garage, you make my way to the left. Hold on the brakes now. Down into third gear, keeping the speed up. That's the hard way to rev match. If you're interested in that full video, I'll leave a link on screen. But using the clutch is how most drivers rev match the engine between the gearbox to make gear changes smooth, particularly downshifts. So my intuition says it's not possible, but I'm clearly thinking about manuals incorrectly. Like you, the revs only come from your gas pedal. No, they come from, they do come from the It'll gas pedal. They come down naturally but too. The, the job of the, I didn't speak to you. <laughs> That was uh, Google intervening. Um, the clutch will move the revs where they need to be. Now you haven't got a camera on his pedals, but you can see my pedals. Push the clutch down the left pedal and you'll see my pedal go down. So you can control that. Ooh, that's, see how that's really hard. To, yeah. yeah, dual controls are oh, a little, fun. Yeah. Yeah, they are a bit stiff. It's, it's a bit more awkward. You've got to push it more down than forwards. Down. Okay, yeah, gotcha. that's how they often are. They do vary. They are retrofitted, mm -hmm. and they just literally control the pedals on this side. Oh, is that all it is? Is just a stick around there? Yeah, but... it's a rod or a cable. Oh, yeah, that's all it is. I figured it'd be a separate set, but that makes so. What I'm going to do yep. is so you can solely focus on learning how to rev match using the clutch. I'm going to drive. I'm going to make sure it's safe, and I'm just going to get you to press the clutch down mm -hmm. and bring it back up again. But instead of coming off it quickly and making the car do this, you're going to bring it to the bite point. You'll feel the car start to slow down a little bit. You'll hear the revs start to rise. Hold the pedal there. Okay. Until the revs, look at this dial here, until the revs stop rising. Yep. This is your engine speed. Yeah. And then they start to fall again. When they're starting to fall again, the rev matching's done. Okay. You can have the clutch fully. You're probably going to feel the car start to slow down before you hear the pitch of the engine increase. When you're trying to learn this, be very slow with the clutch so that you don't go past the bite point and make it jerk. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Yeah, excited even. Well, let's go. So I only use the clutch if I say it's safe. Okay, yeah. And me being here means I'm going to be able to get you to do it many times together, which will hopefully get you some skill. Mm -hmm. So all right, there is a car coming up behind now. I think I'll wait for them, then we'll get going. So we may have to fast forward a little bit of this video. Okay, so no cars, we're going. And I'm in second gear, I'm gonna get it up to 30 nice and quickly. So if you can push the clutch down, now very slowly lift it and hold it when you feel the car start to slow. Look at the revs. 
They're rising, they're rising, they're rising, they're rising. They're finished rising, come off the clutch, it's done. You rev match using the clutch. Okay. So the clutch has put the engine speed where it needs to be, and that was smooth. That's what you need to do. You can't just come off the clutch. You've got yeah. to listen to the engine and feel the car, slow down as you get that engine braking. Try it again, there's no okay. one behind. Going clutch. clutch down, lift to the bite point, hold it, feel it. Ooh. Oh Ooh, no, okay. you see, now you rev match too quickly. Yeah. Yeah. You made the clutch bring the engine speed up quickly, which meant you jolted the car. Yeah. Because the engine wasn't that fast and the engine speeding up made the car slow down quickly, which is the jolt. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly turn round and we'll go back and we'll give that another go. Okay, so we've turned round, can do it again. Try again, clutch down and to the bite point. Hold it, hold it. Okay, not bad, off the clutch. It's a car catching us now, so I'll just let them pass. So let's pull over here and I'll give you another go. You've done a few now. Your first one was the best. Yeah, no, that was... <laughs> I think that was three you've done I now. went so ridiculously slow, I was like, I can't get it wrong, and apparently that was exactly right. So I Yeah, well, that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to find the beginning of the bite point and hold it there. Mm -hmm. Then the clutch can do its job. Don't worry, you're not burning the clutch out. Okay. That is what the clutch is designed to do. It's designed to match the engine speed to the wheel speed or the gearbox speed. You just need to give it some time to do yeah. that. You wear the clutch out when you overheat it. Clutches don't wear much when they don't get hot. And you overheat it by holding the, holding the car on a hill with the clutch. Okay. Or giving too many revs as you lift the clutch up, then you overheat it very quickly. Mm -hmm. But what you're doing there, the clutch will last a very long time. Okay. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, clearly. We've yeah. had this car a while. We'll give it another go. I'll get up to 30. Second gear is a good gear to do it in, because it's one of the hardest. First gear is harder, but it's a bit ridiculous. So at 30 miles an hour in second gear now, clutch down, find the beginning of the bike point, hold it. Oh, that's good. And now it's done. You see the revs coming back down yeah, now? Can, because yeah, the engine speed there, wants to be at idle. You see the engine yeah. speed wants to get down to around about 1,000. Mm -hmm. It says 10 there, but it's actually 1,000 RPM. And when you connect it together, it will slow the car down as it's trying to um, bring the revs down. But because the car's got some momentum behind it, it actually ends up bringing the revs up temporarily. I think we can do it one more time, so I'll get some speed up. There's no one behind us. We're doing nearly 30, so clutch down, find the bite point, hold it. Oh yes, lovely, now you can come off. Well, that That's... feels wrong to me. I, that doesn't feel like what you should be doing. That feels like a hack or something. Like, I don't, I, clearly it's me being inexperienced, but like, that feels, something feels wrong about that, like not correct. Well, you can rev match with the gas, but mm -hmm. if you've watched the video and saw that clip, it takes a bit of practice. Uh -huh. um, I've been doing it since 2006, rev matching with the gas, and I still get it wrong sometimes. I think I do. Right, there's no one behind us, we've got a good opportunity. Yeah, Up to so. 30, I'm gonna say nothing, try it. So much smoother. That one was still a little, yeah, I felt the little, little bit jerky, better. but way more than acceptable. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that's way more than you need for the test standard. Yeah. So hopefully you can, you can put that into practice with your driving. Now you understand that. You're yeah, not just going yeah, to be that's... coming off the clutch. You know what to feel. You know what to listen to. I'm you glad know. I got that from this seat because you can yeah, definitely yeah, feel it very you, differently. If you're doing it in this seat, you're trying to concentrate on so many, many things, aren't hazards, you? Yeah. You can't. And then I'm trying to explain what to do whilst you're trying to drive. <laughs> but now you've got an idea of how yeah. to make going down a gear smooth and lift the clutch up. And the same is true when you go up a gear. But when you go up a gear, the revs are very close to where they need to be because the revs come mm. down, but also because you're changing to a higher gear, the gear speed comes down. So you only need, if you want it to be perfectly smooth, you pause on the bike point for literally a moment and it will rev match. You can often get away with just coming off the clutch slowly and it would be smooth. It depends on how fast you're going. It depends on the car, many factors. We're playing it safe. It's a short pause on the bike point. If you watch me drive, that is what I do. That's where my confusion was. Like four seconds wasn't right for a gear up. You're right, because you're already at the right revs because no. it's slowing down as you're, yeah, okay. That makes sense, yeah. I said four seconds off camera, so you don't know what four <laughs> oh, seconds yeah. meant. But going down again, yeah. typically, if you're going to second gear, it's going to take about four seconds for the clutch to rev match for you. Okay. Now, the next thing. Awareness and planning. Where are my notes? Are you from back here, have you? Awareness and planning. I think that's going to help you with mirrors. Mm-hmm. I also think that's going to help you with clutch control. Yeah. Because you've got more time to do what you need to do. So you're going to be smoother. 
Yeah, when you're clutching, you don't feel in control, but if you know you've got a whole second to do it, you don't have to worry about like, oh no, let's get off quickly. That's where <laughs> a lot of your problems come with from your yeah. control, because you're because you're trying to do things quickly. Like when you're moving away, actually one of the problems was you're giving too much gas, mm -hmm. but your gas control doesn't seem too bad. It's just that you're rushing. And I think with some awareness and planning training, that's gonna get better. Use of speed, on that occasion, it was awareness. Awareness that you needed to be 30 until you got to the 50 sign. Now you know that. I, I think that's a one-off. Yeah, traffic yeah. lights. <laughs> awareness and planning is going to help you with traffic lights. Because as you're approaching lights, you're going to be aware that they're green. And you've been thinking they might change red soon. And you're going to have that point where you go, I'm going. I'm not going to stop. And before you get to that point, if they do change, you already know what to do. You're not seeing the lights change and then suddenly you're floundering like, uh, <laughs> should I stop? Should I go? Should I say? And then by which time you've lost enough time, all the time you need really, and you end up either slamming the brakes on too hard at the last moment or going through when you shouldn't or getting lucky. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, that, you're getting away a bit. 11 of those are my fault, but the clutch and the traffic lights are all down to be driving in America where like, I, three seconds is my rule. Like once the light's been yellow for three seconds, I'm like, now I should start to slow down. Whereas here, that's you just running a red, right? Like there's no three seconds of yellow. So that's got to, well, if I'm going to drive here. Well, and three seconds here. Oh, it lasts exactly, okay. It, so. it, whether it's a 30 or 60 limit, I've timed it. It's three seconds on the dot. I've timed quite a few. Um, that's dangerous at 60, but you still got to, you've got, that's why you've got to be extra aware of traffic lights. Like it could change to yellow and you've got to be ready to get it right there. You can't wait two, three seconds and then start to react to the traffic light. You need to know when they change. Yeah. You already need to know what you're doing when the lights change. Mm -hmm. You have to have a plan. And your position, that was a problem, but I think that's going to be quite easy to help you with that mm -hmm. whilst I'm helping you with your awareness and planning. So are you happy for me to give you some training on that? Yeah, let's do it. So we've switched seats now and I'm going to give you some awareness and planning training. And the way I do that is I tell you where to focus. Okay. I point out what I would be focusing on, what I would be aware of, and how I would be reacting to it. So really what I'm doing is I'm telling you how I'm thinking, and that usually helps my pupil start to do that themselves. Yeah. So listen to me, listen to what I'm saying, and then try and implement that. You're going to pass on your stream of consciousness to me, and then I'm going to realise what 197,000 miles of driving uh, plus looks like, and I'm going to have a better idea of what <laughs> That's I'm... in this car. I think my combined teaching and driving is nearly a half a million miles now. <laughs> Turn the ignition on and you see the... Yeah, we just realised when we pulled over that the car... That's just the ignition. Clutch, not the brake. No, the ignition's oh, fine. Okay. But the car's done 197,000 miles now. Um, a bit less lately. I haven't been using this car as much lately, so it's been going up slowly. When I was using it a lot, it was like 35,000 miles a year. So wow. I've been using my other car quite a bit more. And I had a press car the other week too, so I was using that quite a bit. But soon, 200, I've got to keep this car until 200. People say, when am I getting rid of this car? But I can't get rid of it before 200. And even now, I don't feel like getting rid of it. Anyway. Wait, why were you using a press car? Was there perhaps a video related reason that people should know about? I don't tell yeah, I gotta, him, I don't I've got to do this for him. Yeah, I don't... People don't do it for themselves. They need me to be like, oh yeah, that, is there a channel maybe where people could see these press cars? <laughs> yeah, there's, a, I'll, okay, I'll leave a link to a video. <laughs> You're just answering my question. For my other it. channel. It's important to the lesson that but I you, know. You have a YouTube channel as well, don't you? It's oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, do you want to see geography? Yeah, I'll save it to the end. You don't need to know right now. You want IBX to see driving. <laughs> Toy Cat. And IVX 2 Cat. 2 Cat, like the number but, two. Geography and gaming, isn't it? You just need to know I talk about maps and I drive around places with the handbrake on. It's uh, it's very good stuff. Uh, and <laughs> Yeah, I had the handbrake light on the whole time I was driving in Italy. Didn't realise. Right. It was fine. I, I got that. If it was just one click. Yeah, I think it, that's what it's it was. probably not going to be binding. Depends on the system. But let's get to the lesson. Yeah, so, Toy Cat and Andrew Andrews. There you go. My little plug for myself. But yeah, let's uh, Engine let's on. You know how to turn the engine You've got to use the clutch in a manual. Instead Nearly of the... any manual for the last sort of 10 years. These And more powerful cars. That was the case before. Mm -hmm. uh, I want you, I'm going to ask you to move away. I want you to follow the road ahead. If I want you to go left or right, I'll tell you in plenty of time. And I'm going to tell you what I'm thinking. Excited. You ready? Let's, uh, okay, you move away when you're ready. I'm going to... Uh, using your blind spot thing that is actually... like It's what okay, I feel, I'll, but I'm going to start talking now. What? There's a car coming up behind. We've got to wait for them. Yep. They're very slow, but they're a learner. That's to be expected. I'm not going to bother looking at the blind spot yet. And I'm thinking, we can probably go now. So a quick check of the blind spot. Is that clear? All right, look in the mirrors again as we start moving ahead and the mirrors. Blind spot was getting a little bit old there, and that's because you took a little bit of time to do your pedals. Don't worry about that too much, because with experience, you will get quicker. 
that's the first time you've moved a manual car in a week. <laughs> in a whole week, yeah. Yeah, so throughout the lesson you'll get quicker. Mm -hmm. So there is a person crossing the road. I'm thinking they're not an issue. There's a zebra crossing. It's where you should be thinking right now. It has an island, so we don't have to wait for people until they get to the island. I might just not go much faster than this because we can't see to the left very well. Where that hedge is is actually an alleyway. Oh, wow. Done the zebra crossing now, not thinking about it. Try not to rest on the clutch. Next road left. Let's get the car jogging. So slow it down. And jogging is yeah. quite slow, Second not fast. Gear and try and rev match with that clutch. Just use that skill now to make it smooth. There we go. Yeah. So much better straight away. Looking into the road. I was not until just now. <laughs> I must not admit, I didn't, I didn't think about asking you if you'd checked your mirrors there. I had, if, if bullets were. So slow down, look at the gap, focus on the space, not the car. That's it. And we've got another parked car. Try and pass at the wide point. Mirrors now. Now look forwards. Very slow because you can't see very far. That's another thing. You want to be a bit more slow when you approach behind a car like that because you can't see what's coming. You need Always to assume to there's something bad in a place you can't see. Now I'll stay on the case. right to pass the next car. There's no point coming back and I'll get the speed up because it's clear. I'll leave the car a bit more room. I'll show you. I'll be okay. right here. Full yes. doors width. Mirrors before you move back. Look forwards when you move back. Because you want to be looking forward. Why would I have mirrors before going back though? There's not going to be a car there. Going I've just back to your side of the road. But I, I mean. Yeah, but I mean as in like, I know there's not a car there because Focus we just Focus on your position. It. You're starting to drift to the right. Okay. It could be a cyclist. Cyclist, okay. So look at the road markings. Which way does the road go? Right. Okay. Which means, that means I'm going forward. So look at the space next to the island. That's the next bit that you've got to go through. Don't look too far around the bend, otherwise you'll cut the corner and go on the yellow lines. I can see parked cars, so I'm backing off the power a little bit because I'm thinking a car could be coming. Is any cars coming that need to finish? No. No, so we'll go through now. now there is There's a car, spaces but... where cars can wait. Can you see a space where you can get them to wait? Yeah. Ha invite Sweet. them into that space. Oh, they've gone into an earlier one. That's fine. They choose a space, that's okay. We've got a cyclist up ahead. So don't go too fast. We're not going to pass that cyclist until we can pass them with enough room um, to fall off. But we'll follow them as closely as we can whilst feeling like if they fell off, we could still stop. We don't want to be too far back because then we don't get an opportunity to pass. You're starting to drift to the right. Focus on yeah. your position. <laughs> that's, uh... Can you see the, the bend up ahead? Yeah, but so not much further around. Oh, okay. Try I not to look across it, the grass for your position. Look across the grass for danger. Look close for position. Your focus close is good position. for position. Your peripheral vision is good for danger. Okay. Again with this bend, which way does the road go? Can you see the to road the right. markings? Yeah. So focus down at the road now. So you keep it in your lane or in your half, and now you can look up to help straighten up. What's coming up now? What do you think? Uh, it's a T-junction, I'm guessing. It's the end of the road. We're going left. Going left. Mirrors yeah. before signals. So you've got good awareness now. So mirrors, this one and this one for going left. So you know what's behind to the left. Gonna, this is a walking junction. This is where you want to have the clutch down and be doing less than five. Really slow and in first gear. Look left so you get a good position as well as right for who's coming. Do both looks. And only go when you feel safe. Yeah. Go when you feel comfortable. Do mm -hmm. not rush. Yep. When you do go, try and get good control. Don't rush your pedals. You won't learn how to be smooth if you rush them. That's it. Zebra crossing's clear. It's a car on the right. Doesn't matter if they pull out so much time. Be too many revs there, I yeah. think. <laughs> Unnecessary. We could have changed gear a lot earlier than that. Around about two grand in this car is so easy. It's got a lot of torque low down. Um, I'll be in third gear by now. I'm going to ignore, ignore this cycle lane to begin with because I don't want to swerve after this island. So okay. I'll gradually move over. Ignoring the lights now. now. You ignore them. So when they change, you know what to do. Until you ignore them, you're stopping. Try to stay off the cycle lane. I just didn't want you to swerve yep. to go around it. I think that would be unsafe. Am I in the cycle I'm lane I'm going to help right now? you now a little bit okay. because that, that hole, I don't want you to hit that <laughs> hole. I don't want to go to <laughs> Australia. Okay. <laughs> so. At the moment, your left wheel is on the white line of the cycle lane. If really? you put your okay. left That's... knee in the middle of your half, don't move your knee, yeah. relax your knee, <laughs> move the car, and when you feel like your left knee is in the middle of your half, the middle of the car is in the middle of the half. Mm, yeah, I see my, yeah, okay. This yeah. is quite a good position now. We've got more parked cars. Do not drive up behind them. Try to stay to yep. the right to try and improve your view. Yeah. Don't worry about the lines in the middle. You can use them if you need to, yep. if you need the space. That's there to keep oncoming cars away from each other. So if someone needs the middle, someone can use it. Yep. What else can you see up ahead? Nothing. Can there's you a... see an island in the middle on the bend? Yeah, okay. So it's a narrow just in case there. there's a, okay, narrow. So way. go slow enough that it's easy. Look at the center, don't look at the edges. Okay. Now look far. 
Is that the whole thing where you drive, you steer where you're looking, so make sure you're looking in the place you want to You steer yourself, to? don't steer the car. If you think okay. about the sides, you're in trouble. You put yourself in the gap. Your okay. left knee in the middle. That gap is wide enough for a car. You just got to get in the middle of it. Okay. What do you see up ahead? There's a red light, so I've got to just slow down gently. We're just in go case. We're right. Go right. So I think I would indicate about. So mirrors, guess, centre yep. right mirror, then right signal. <clears throat> you indicate before you start braking, ideally. Try and leave Sainsbury's clear. Can you see Sainsbury's, yeah. Sainsbury's on the left, that entrance? And I would say a little bit faster than this, and then change gear. Now change gear. And then be smooth with the clutch. It's beautiful, very smooth. Or, or barely feel that at all. What else can you see around this bend? What's this sign here mean on the left? Uh, roundabout. Off the up. gas, give yourself time to think, plan. What are you okay. going to do? We're going uh, straight if I don't say anything, remember? So I'm just going to, I don't think you need to signal left for that. I'm just going to look to my right. I'm good. good. So you've had I'm time good. to think about I'm that roundabout, haven't you? Yeah. You've had time to deal with it. It's the time that you need. Distance These time, cars yeah. can open their doors. Check your centre right mirror before you reposition yourself to the right. Now try and take responsibility for your mirrors. If you're going to change your position, check your mirrors first. Yep, yeah, yeah. You need to go right at the traffic lines. You can't use the middle lane yet, it's not yours, but you can after the diagonal line. So, so right mirror here. signal yep. into the right lane. It is. Safe. Go, around the, go around the bus into the right lane. A little bit late there. Yeah, off the yeah, brake and roll right. up to the last line. You can fit after the keep clear, there is room. Really? In that space? Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. That's big enough for a car. And now it's green. Can you go? No. You can? Oh, I can. You can. You can go and wait in the middle. I mean, there's no one coming, you finish. Can you make it? Yeah. You go and you can make it. Don't rush, you're starting to rush a little bit. If you're not sure, you wait. Mm -hmm. What sign can you see up ahead? Another roundabout coming up, so don't get too fast. What kind of roundabout? Um, probably a mini. Any okay. kind. The triangle oh, any means kind. any. Yeah. The blue sign, what's the blue sign mean? Mini. That's a mini. Ah, okay. You and that'll be at the giveaway line, so even when it's snowing, you know where it is. We're going left. So mirrors before signal. Try and take responsibility now. Yeah, I, I still know, I, I do both at the same time when I'm... No, you do signal first. Is it clear? Yeah. Okay, then look where you're going, take your time, accelerate comfortably, and be relaxed. Yeah. So yeah, the mirrors are <laughs> really something that you don't do. You it's, really don't care about what's behind you before you signal. The whole being in a different place without being in a different uh, lane is odd to me. The like idea it doesn't happen is that often, before but I must you be signal, it. you're aware of your surroundings, so you have a head start of anything before you do the junction. Checking your mirrors as you need to steer is not a good idea <laughs> as your first check, because if you see something there, you don't have time to react to it. But if you check early, you'd be like, oh, I know there's something there, and you, I need to be, um, I wouldn't say worried, but I need to be aware of that. Uh -huh. I'll help you with that. So what we have now is an obstruction coming up. Can you see the sign on the left? Yep. Single file traffic, it says. Which tells us there's going to be a passing point, and it doesn't say yet it's, it's going to be an offside, but there measure. we go. You can yep. see it there. You can't make a decision until you're near the line, so don't try. I class this as a walker. Oh, a walker. So you're going to have to brake, yeah. get the clutch down. Maybe not quite this slow this early, but certainly by that triangle. Brake a bit more now you're near the triangle. Into first. Still can't see, can you? So go a no. bit further forward. Okay, now you can see. Check your mirrors and then go. And go around the island, not over it. Thank you, I appreciate that. <laughs> I wouldn't come in so sharp, because your mirrors are even more important then. I would if it was needed, but if it's not needed, I'd come in gradually. You want to reduce how much you change the position of this car. You want it to be very gradual, because yeah. that makes it safer. Everyone Unless can you... see what you're doing much easier and than when it's jerky. something, if you've missed something, they've got time to react to you. It's a good backup, you don't want to rely on it, but if you steer quickly, then you're, you're causing danger. Traffic lights, we're going to go right. Can you signal now or should you delay it? Uh, there's, a, uh, there's a road there, people will get confused about. Can you check about. your mirrors though? Center and right mirror? should, okay. yeah. You can signal now then. Red light is a walker, which means you're going to be doing less than five. Oh no, we can go to second and do a jogging. Yep, so just... turn to green on the way there. It's green, so I, and there's Looking no... at the exit already, so I've got a good plan for my steering. So focus on the center of the exit. Don't pay attention to the secondary light, that's not for you. Those lights after you've done the turn, once you cross that white line and you go past the traffic lights, the lights don't Just apply to you. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Just this... do it when it's safe. Go carry on if it's safe. Don't run over a pedestrian. What's the white <laughs> sign here mean if you want to go ahead? I'm going to the right lane because the yeah. left lane will be turning only. So, so what you want to do now is focus on the stop line so you brake well towards it so it's smooth. If you look at it, you'll get good braking. Okay, that's useful. That's lovely. Always focus on where you're stopping. A bit early to go to first, not great for your transmission. Better to okay. do that when it's down to about five or less. That's still second gear speed. Second set of traffic lights, I would like you to go right. 
Okay, so just so keep straight, yeah, straight into it. And you can see the arrows that have been freshly painted, unusual. The lovely arrows, yeah. <laughs> we may fast forward this bit. There's so many red lights here. Like, I've, I, there's no angle where you can't see. I guess they're different red lights up there, but like. So you've got the go. secondary light, which is the one at the end of the junction. That's mm -hmm. to help you see it instead of trying to look up here. Yeah. But the next set of lights are clearly for the next junction, yeah. the next yeah. line, the white line. You can use the handbrake if you wish, but it's not required when you're waiting at lights. I don't. Yeah, I've seen an argument both ways that it's safer to and safer not More to. More on that like, later. Traffic yeah. lights right. So mirrors before signal. Yeah, I, I did it the wrong You can't way see around that thing, can you? You can't. So be careful. Get there. Get into the middle. Okay. And when you get there, decide. Now decide. Commit. Now it's good. That's where you got your serious on your test because there was a bend and you committed too early and something could come around the bend. It was a lot worse than that one. So on the loop we were doing, I was addressing mirrors, position, and planning and awareness as the main points that I was trying to help Andrew improve with. Now this is actually after we've done the whole video and I've found a junction which demonstrates where he got his serious for observations at junction. So I'm filming this after we've done <laughs> the whole video and done the exit, the outro, but I'm gonna insert it in the middle. Um, I'm gonna give a demonstration now to you to yeah, show mixed. you the danger and I'm explain what's wrong with what you did. I'm excited to see this junction. I, I haven't seen yet. I want to know where I made this terrible error in judgment. I'm gonna, it's gonna be great. Well, basically, it's a right turn with a bend, and this is very similar mm -hmm. to the junction you did on the test. And you committed too early, and someone can come round that bend in that time. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna take the next road on the right, slowing down for this person where the van is, and you committed from about here. Uh -huh. That's when yeah. you did your last look ahead, you started staring right. <laughs> you really want to go slow and walk this, get near your turn, make sure no one's yeah. coming from ahead, and then zip across the path of the oncoming cars as late as you can, yeah. instead of committing too early like you did on that, on that drive. Stuff. Also, when you approached that right turn during the test, you went in the middle of the road <laughs> and it was a narrow road. So if someone was coming towards you, even if you wanted to wait, you couldn't because you're in the middle of the road. Yeah, yeah. But the main problem was you were staring out that window far too early. We're going to swap round and now he's going to give it a go. Okay, I am going. Whew. Relax. <laughs> yeah, that's a... Uh... Your hands are like that. Just, Hold this. Hold the wheel how you how you normally hold it. Usually your hands are a bit lower than that on the wheel. You look a bit more. You look a bit uptight. A little bit more distance never... from these cars, just yeah, in case yeah. they open their door. You've got the space on the right side. So use yeah. it. So next road on the right, please. Try yeah. to look forward. So it could be oncoming cars before you make your turn. Done yeah. your mirrors yet? Got a signal. Right. Get it slow. Get it walking and try and return to your side. Are you indicating yet? Get it walking. First gear, now you're here, make a decision and go. I'm good. Now get going, get it finished. And even this time, look, the oncoming learner had time to see that you were about to pull in because you took a bit more time there. Yeah. So they could wait and you had time to look into the road and if they were committed, oh, slow down. Oh. Look in front yeah. of you, stay on your half. You're just in the middle of the road. Look in front of you. Look here. Look in front. Look, yeah, that's look, where you're, look where you're going. You're looking around the bend. Yeah, I know you're saying so look you're, your periphery. It seems so, you're, you're so cutting dangerous. The corner. Yeah. Yeah, that's... You're cutting because you're looking over the bend. You cut the corner. Your peripheral vision is useless at position. Yeah. Focus for position, peripheral vision for oncoming cars and danger. Glance for that as well if you want. Glance though, don't. Um, but yeah. folk, if you don't look at your position, you'll cut that corner, you'll be in the middle of the road. Mm -hmm. You can drive on these lines, these are for traffic wardens, they're not for driving, so at the moment you are driving in the middle of the road. Okay. But we do have oncoming uh, parked cars now, so you can check your mirrors and move out. Mm -hmm. You're already out, stay here now. And next road right, so another right turn, a bit easy this one. There's a brow of a hill, so it's sort of similar. You can't make a decision just yet, so mirrors yeah. signal. Check behind. Yeah, signal as well, can't signal, put it on. Yep. Should signal before you start slowing down, really. Mirror signal before you slow down. There we go. And then you can go. You could probably do this one jogging in second because yeah, you've got right. that view a bit earlier here. You can see down the road. And then pull over after the mini at the side of the road. Let's do it. Okay. So if you can't see, you've got to get there and decide late if you can't see. Close junction. Gotcha. An open junction. That one's not too bad. 
Yeah, I see your point of go. I would have waited at the stop line until I knew it was safe. What's this but that's sign mean here? Uh, traffic lights coming up ahead. Okay, can you see them yet? No, I can see one of them. So I know it's red, so I'm not going to put any speed on because why? Well, I don't get anything. Can you from see it. your stop line? Yeah. Focus on that. Okay, We're going right at the traffic the lights. Line. We're going right at the traffic lights. Got a green light? Does that mean you can go, or do you need to no, wait? I'm going to wait until yeah, wait. If you had a go green past the arrow, you could go. So clutch down and first if I was you. It's going to get a bit struggle. The engine's going to struggle otherwise. That's it. And I look at your exit to get a good exit and commit. Pedestrian looks safe. He's aware of us. Don't give way to pedestrians in that situation, despite what the highway code may <laughs> imply. If you've got a green light and they've got a red man, or should I say a red person, is 2023. <laughs> the red person on the, you know, we get green lights and red lights, they get people, don't they? That's true. Why um, don't we have red cars and green cars? You don't go against what the traffic lights are unless it's unsafe. Unless someone's going to actually walk in front of you, they should wait if they've got a red person. Yeah. Always yield to someone you might hit, even if you legally don't have to. So now focus on the gap next to the island, so you have good position. Left knee in the centre of it, don't look at the edges. You've got a bus. Check your centre right mirror now, and now quit that and start slowing down, because we yep. were going to go around it, it was going to come out really early to get a good view. It's super windy today, I can feel it a little bit sometimes in here. I just heard some <laughs> dust get blown over the car. What's the date? Say 12th, isn't it? 12th of March? Or 13th. Are oh, you going to date the video that way? I was, uh... Other routes on the sign. See the sign? Yeah. Okay, jog. Colchester Garrison. I recommend jogging for this. Jogging. Second gear, 10 miles an hour, mirror signal right. Get that clutch up. Early plan, what do you think? He's fine. Okay. Yep, I'm good. So you were late looking there. You were looking yeah, at the cars yeah, on yeah. the left. If you were looking earlier and looking in the relevant place, you would have seen that they were indicating left and you wouldn't hesitate by pushing the clutch down the stop. You were focusing on the cars that you didn't need to give way to. Yeah, the... Which is normal. <laughs> when you're not experienced at driving, many people end up looking at the wrong cars at roundabouts. That does happen. You get yeah, they're, they're closer practice. cars to you, even though they're no danger. Yeah. So you think they're a danger wrongly. What sign can you see now? Uh, another roundabout's coming up. What kind of roundabout is it? It could be any, but I'm mini, guessing it's a mini based on The blue on the... sign's been knocked round the other way. It should be under the giveaway. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> so get second gears, jog this one because it's quite open. Look into what do you right. think? Stop or go? I'm going. Look forwards, commit, do not change your mind. Do not change your mind seems a bit. No, because oh, if oh. you stop mid roundabout, because yeah. what happens is you stare right, you look again, you think, oh, there's a car coming. You're already committed, you're in the roundabout, you've got to finish. Obviously, if something walks in front of you, don't run it over. Yeah. But you don't want to <laughs> stop on the roundabout if something's coming from the right, because they are going to hit you if you stop in front yeah. of them, aren't they? You, That's, more you, you will cause the collision yeah, yeah. with that. That's why you've got to make decisions. Now, the green light on this traffic light is not working. I just noticed it was red, and it, um, when it went to green, the light went out. So we're going left huh. of these lights. Left. The mirror's signal. Didn't, didn't mirror first. The secondary light is working though. Just check your mirror again before you turn. Bad time to change gear, really. No, it's brilliant. Oh, okay. I thought you did very well. You juggled the gearing and the steering very well. There's no set way of doing it. As long as you have good control, it's good. Okay. What do you see ahead? Mini roundabout. So we're going to check mirrors behind me. Going to check to my right. It is oh, a I head here, by it. the way, just to let you know. It looks a tiny bit right, but it is a head. People treat it as a head. So, no signal required. I can't really. Okay, good. You weren't sure and you stopped. That's what you should do. Now, take your time. Look at the exit. Look at your lanes so you know what to do. And I'm going straight ahead, unless otherwise. And obviously, you've already committed to stopping at these lights because they're well orange early enough. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if I floor it fast enough, maybe. But, now, uh, what I would do, and I'm not advising you to do this right now, I'd put it in neutral to rest my left foot. But you're at the front of the queue, you're not an experienced driver, so I actually advise you have to clutch down, put it down, and put it in first gear so you're ready to go. Yeah, that's why. I... But if you're further back in the queue, I recommend that. It's, it's a nicer way to drive a manual car. We'll check your mirrors before you move away as well. Oh, okay. Just cool. because you can have cyclists come up either side of you, and you want to be aware what's around you before you go. Just do your speed now so that the pedestrians are non-issue. Yep. Your speed now can make that pedestrian non an issue. We can fit through these cars. I'll go in the middle to have maximum space from both sides in case doors open or people walk out from the side. And I'll get, I'll go as quick as I can and get past as many as I can as quickly as possible before the car comes the other way. Now we're approaching a bend. I'll slow a little bit just in case there is a car coming the other way. And there's not, and then we're good. Yeah. And there's a left bend now, so it's hard to see. So I'll back off the speed a bit, slow down a little bit, 
should be room for you in an oncoming car, but your view is less, and something could be coming from the left. Something could, like this, for example, they're in the middle of the road, aren't they? Well Same done for slowing us, down. Yeah. That is your time pedal. That brake pedal gives you more time. Slow it now into second. That looks like a narrow gap. Just Does focus it? on the center. Okay. Yeah, it's quite narrow, quite near the curb. There we go, that feels comfortable. If you're less than half a meter from something, I recommend jogging sort of 10 miles an hour second gear if you're closer than half a meter to an object, particularly a parked car, because they open doors. Yeah. So tell me when to commit for these lights as part of being aware and planning. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, and I'm committed. And go on then, don't change your mind now, you go, that's fine, that's good. I think you did that late enough that it wouldn't have been like, oh, you should be stopping, but not so um, early. After uh, seeing the actual time it took, I'd probably move it forwards for the next light, but yeah. Tiny bit, it can't be perfect, but that was fine. So we've got a queue, join the queue. If you go into second gear now and jog, you might not have to stop. Second gear? Yeah, because the engine's right at the bottom, but the revs are struggling. Go into oh, second okay, gear, bring those revs up a little bit, so it's not struggling. This is a manual now control. Now tell me when to ignore the lights. Now. Okay, uh, I'm fine. It's I mean, about looking, distance, I'm about looking, time. I'm looking. About now. Go on in, get it done. Nah, still early, yeah. No, 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 it's good. I think that's all If right. I'm speeding up, that's probably fine. But if I was holding that speed, it was a bit early. I think they're quite easy because you're quite slow. You could do it later and you could probably do it a bit earlier as well. So I think you're fine. Okay, that's good. And now find a safe place to pull over at the side of the road. Good, you're checking behind. What about the cyclist over here? Got ah. a Was there one? No. No? Okay. <laughs> now do not risk hitting the curb. There's no benefit from it. I'm just going to steer you a bit because you were okay, about to hit that there. And now secure the car. What I'm going to do now is help Andrew park at the side of the road because he is getting a bit close to it. I think your judgment is fine. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to go into detail about using reference markers out the front window. I have a feeling that you know roughly where it is. You're just trying to get too close Yeah. because you, you have passed your test and you have got some experience behind the wheel. I've so parked a lot of cars and a lot of the sides of roads. And just as an, as an instructor, I feel like that you're not a beginner in that area. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like you're a beginner when it comes to position, I just feel you doubt yourself. Uh -huh. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use the pedals. Okay. I'm gonna move the car forwards and I'm gonna steer you out. Okay. And then I'm gonna ask you to steer the wheel to line up with the curb. Okay. You just have to be close enough that you're on the drain. Don't try and get an inch from it. Okay. So but we're going further out on the drain, right? Yeah. When it's yeah. safe, I'm going to do that. So if you come off the pedals, don't I'm touch off, any pedals. No, yeah, no pedals. I'll move the wheel out when I ask you to take the wheel okay. and I'll control the speed. So you're just focusing on one thing. I find people learn better when they focus on one thing at a time and line up with the curb. So I'll wait for it to be safe. And then there's a bus. <laughs> which is sort of the distance where if we're moving away absolutely let's yeah. get going but because we're messing around probably better to wait until no one's coming that's a very slow bus yeah <laughs> okay they're gone now so blind spot's good yep i'm moving you out you take the wheel now okay and just line up and follow the curb so you're nice and close to the curb but not really close you can do that now yeah. give me your best guess i'm gonna try and get within a drain width yeah not much and just further. keep it there Signal left if anyone comes up behind. It's clear at the moment, but if you know, yeah, keep anyone. an eye on my right mirror. So this is all right. Try and keep it nice. Don't let it get much further. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. It, yeah, this is like the edge of all right to me. You put your left indicator on. There's a car in the distance, so they know that we're going to stay here. Maybe get a little bit closer, but not. No, no, no. no that's where you're going wrong. <laughs> okay. So you're quite close now, aren't you? Very. Put very your signal close. back on. You shouldn't move the wheel like that. Yeah, when you're well, when you're at low speed. A low enough speed you'd have to, but not at this lower speed, yeah. Wait for that car to go past. Now make it a little bit closer, a tiny, that's it. So that's where you're going wrong, that's better. And that's where I feel a bit nervous sometimes, because you're already quite close to the curb, but you're still <laughs> coming still, at it yeah. at quite an angle. So once you start, I think your judgment is fine. You need to readjust your judgment on how much to turn the wheel once you are close. If you're close, small adjustments. Okay. I've learned some things. You've learned some stuff? Lots of stuff. We've been driving for, I don't know, 20 minutes, half an hour, probably a bit more than that, I'm not sure, but we've basically done two laps of the area. And you're starting to improve, you're starting to plan better, and it's less work from me. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't have to tell you so much what to look at, I can see you're starting to do it more. So we're gonna show you now he's driving. So shall we get to it? Let's do it. Move away when you're ready, please, and we'll continue. Do a 
back around. Looking good to me. Let's go. So I would say you sh probably shouldn't have gone then. Really? Yeah, because that car behind, it's catching up. Yeah. And he's having to slow down for you now. It wasn't dangerous. I'm not, I don't feel I need to take the dual it's controls and stop not a, you. Yeah. yeah. If you're going to make someone slow down, even if it's just a little bit, you shouldn't go. Yeah. So, show me some good planning. Okay, there's a car coming, so I'm going to slow down, yeah. or there's two rather, uh, so that I can get past her. I recommend to... second go. I wouldn't go. Oh, you wouldn't go here? Yeah, no, you see? Can... Now you're going to make that van <laughs> yeah, slow down, aren't I've... you? And there was no mirror checks because there was no time. Yeah, I was... So play it safe. Play it safe. If you're going to make them slow down, you shouldn't be going. Drive like an old man. Can you see both sides of the zebra? No. Yes. Can you improve your view for these parked cars? Oh, they're parked. Wow. Yeah. Um... Check your mirrors. Get out and have a look. So second gear if you push the clutch down then. What we got up ahead? Got a T-junction. We'll go so to I'm the left. To go. Okay. So I'm going to check my mirrors. Yes, so no... it's been hard to get him to check his mirrors. <laughs> walk or jog? It's definitely a walk. 100%. You can't see to the left stop, at all, yeah. can you? Or nearly. Just walk it really slowly. Keep it moving. And only stop if you need to. Good, you see, you're aware of both sides. You're aware that the traffic lights are red, so you can pull out behind the car. Make sure you don't ride that clutch. You do that sometimes. Yeah. You, you hold the brake on and lift the clutch to the bike point. It's really not good for the clutch. Ignore lights. You're done. Ignore lights. So the cycle lane has a broken line, as I explained to you earlier. You can use that if you need to, but you should stay out of it unless there's a need. So yeah. it's a big pothole there. Would you mind yeah. just checking your mirrors first? <laughs> I'll right, Checking for cyclists and then um, going around that pothole and then mirrors to come back. Yeah, like those mirrors you did just check there. The yeah, definitely. <laughs> aware of what's beside you. You only moved a little bit to be fair. And it's a good idea to make the most of 30 when it's safe. Like yeah. this is a big road. 30 miles an hour is easy, but try not to go over. And definitely. what's the gear shift indicator recommending at the moment? It's saying stay in free. Yeah, it was. It is, sorry. It was saying four. Oh, good. When it exa <laughs> at, at 30, it's probably, yeah, going to... Well, actually, you above up. 25, it often asks you to. Oh, yeah, right now. But it depends if you're slowing down or speeding up. It's because you're slowing down. That's why. Put it in four and see what it does. Are you going to make me feel comfortable with this traffic calming measure? Or are you going to have me yep. holding on to you're my... Gonna, you're going to love right. the speed. <laughs> I think the revs are getting a little bit low. Yeah, definitely. Be... Back into... Yeah. Maybe into oh, second. Oh, no, no, third. Oh, third. Okay. Well, you can use second, but it's unnecessary. Yeah, yeah, for the... Because that's... But if, if you felt like you needed to go that slow, then seconds, all right, I guess. Okay. I tend to do that a bit quicker, but do it at the speed you feel comfortable with. Back up and deferred. So can you use these Look lines in the middle? If, if you I need to. need to. Yeah. Right now I don't, but okay. that's good to know. And that's there's a red light, for. so there's no point in me getting any extra speed. So he's using it now, isn't he? Yeah. Is he? <laughs> yeah, I've got that one right. I always assume cars are he's. Yeah, uh, it's a... Uh, Traffic lights were going left. Usually we mirrors. assume vehicles are feminine. Um, Centre left mirror? Centre left, yeah, okay. Cyclists? Then, no cyclists. What about leaving this junction clear? Yeah, I see you're already it. sort of doing that, which is good. I weren't 100% sure there. Yeah, it was... That's lovely. Now, I wouldn't signal because that's quite a busy junction. Yeah. Although it's a drop curb, and you, and you usually ignore drop curbs for your signal. For a lot, store, it's yeah. always a car using this. <laughs> if you put it into neutral, Keep your foot on the brake, and you can come off the clutch and just rest your leg. What are you concentrating on now? Uh, I'm looking at the lights mostly, but Good. I'm seeing that car coming out is a bit of a wild card. It's going to change my what I'm doing. I would advise keep an eye on your, in your left mirror and right mirror as well. Just know if there is a cyclist yeah. coming. Especially before you get going. Do you remember which way you're going? I'm going left. That's so correct. Signal now. If you can get the gear before the bend, it will be nicer, so the engine won't be like that as you're going around the bend. Feel comfortable at the moment? Yeah, relax. Because I can see good. the car in front's braking and you're slowing down. It doesn't feel like, oh, is he going to brake? No, it feels like <laughs> you're going to slow down then. Now, remember what I said earlier? Yep. Just look at the centre of the gap, but if it's really small, mm -hmm. walk and check your wing mirrors. That's when you check the size of your car, when it's a really small gap. It's not so small this time. So we're on our, I think this is our third, no, fourth time coming down this road. Two off camera. This is I've got the, sh I've got the cheat sheet on now. Camera. I know. What about the van? He's so... See the reverse light? 
No. White light at the back, that's the reverse light. Good speed, second gear though now, if I was yeah, you. Probably. That, that speed made me, feel, made me feel so comfortable. You're really close to the parked cars there, you needed to be, um, but because you were slow, it didn't feel dangerous. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have been as close to the parked cars. I think I'd have been a bit more right, because you, you're, you're too generous. Yeah. Take the middle of your space, take the middle of your half of the space, give them half, give the oncoming cars half, take half. Most new drivers, they take less than half. Yeah. And they make their lives hard. Mirrors now. Ooh. Christ. Am I good? It will take time, but he will be checking his mirrors. <laughs> so it's been a difficult one. And it's because you're focusing so hard on everything in front of you that that's really secondary. And it makes sense. When you're a cyclist, the rule is like, yeah, everything in front of you is the big problem. You look behind when you're about I to maneuver, but like. We choose second now, you're quite slow. Okay. You're ignoring those lights already. Stay behind that cyclist. Should you go past them before you do a junction and break in front of them? No. Can you see the queue? Yeah. Is there okay, a point? so there's no point overtaking. Yeah, and then you can't, because you've got to have room to fall off. Yeah, yeah. And you can't with the oncoming car. Not safely. So where are you focusing now? Where I'm going to stop. Good. Make sure you, when you're doing that, you're thinking, I'm going to leave things clear. You're not going to block anything, and at the moment it's quite easy. Are we going ahead or are we going right? Oh look, the I Go Cross. That's the car I recently <laughs> reviewed on my other channel. There you go, you get it now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, my learning. So, um, traffic lights, and uh, we'll go ahead. Okay. You're quite close to the curb, so I would okay. appreciate if you don't go any quicker. We're like, yeah. parking distance. That's lovely. Lovely braking, very smooth. Your gear changes are really smooth now. I will, I will tell you, you're going to be here a while. Put it in neutral. Put it in neutral. Yeah, okay. keep your foot on the brake though, or use the handbrake, yeah. either one. Um, rest your feet and we will fast forward this red light. It's going to be a while. So, can you go? Is there room, do you reckon? Oh. I wouldn't have guessed until I see two cars doing it. And you can now, do it, yeah. If there's okay. space, if it's safe, use it. Be slow though, because you can't see what's on the other side of that bus. It could be someone crossing the road, cyclist or anything. There we go, that was nice. Comfortable. So when your mirrors would be useful when you're steering left and right. Yeah, okay. Changing the <laughs> position. So for this white car, centre left mirror now. Look forwards and then you could bring it back, but you don't actually need to now, do you? Yeah, nice. Because you've got another car up there, it's wide. But I want you to pull over in a safe place on the left, please. Okay. I'm gonna do precisely that. Good, check behind, and the left. You should really signal, I'll put that on. Oh, There's a car yeah, behind that's... you there. That's a big problem. A uh, lovely, lovely distance. That's brilliant. You see, I'm not feeling nervous here that you're gonna ruin the tires. Make sure you secure the car. I'll show you, you cancel the signal. As you're getting a bit more used to this car now, you see. Yeah, you yeah. You sort of trim it down a little bit. And now you've got, you're down to a hand. So there's a hand from the curb. Down from a foot to so a hand. So feel how close this is. Don't yeah. try and get closer than that. <laughs> yeah. I've had this car for That's... nine years and I don't get closer than that when I'm driving forwards. I can, but I don't because yeah. I will mess it up. Yeah, it looks real close, you're right, wow. So I was a bit wrong. I was thinking helping you with awareness of planning, which has improved immeasurably <laughs> would help you with mirrors because it will give you more time you have more time mm -hmm. but you're not checking them uh -huh. so i'm going to take a different tactic now a controversial one instead of prompting oh, you when to do your mirrors uh -huh. i'm going to do what driving instructors shouldn't do and i'm just going to tell you every time you miss one until you start until you start getting annoyed it's going to make me go <laughs> and that's going to start yeah. making you want to focus instead of relying on me Okay. So essentially you've got a dummy in like a baby and I'm giving you all this help, all this comfort and I'm going, no, out with the dummy. Yeah. Now I'm not going to tell you when they check them, I'm just going to tell you when you're missing them because I think dumb. it's time you took responsibility yourself. I'm pulling away. We're at... done with the carrot, we're onto the stick. <laughs> you're going to hit me real hard. I want hard you thinking your yourself. I've, I've explained, we've had conversations on why it's important to check the mirrors that I think there's nothing is wrong there with that. Is there anyone who thinks mirrors aren't important to check? They're like, yeah, mirrors aren't real. Well, you, you think that. Objects are closer than they seem. What's the point? <laughs> <laughs> you think that. That's because why, when I when I tell you to, you're like, well, I've, I've already, I know what's around. And, well, not always. It's extra safety. 
Mm -hmm. I'm sure you could not check them in many of those situations and be okay, which is why on your driving test, a lot of them are minor marks because they are minor mirror checks. These aren't serious mirror checks he's missing. This is the icing on the cake to be safer. Mm -hmm. Which is important. So you check your mirrors before you signal, you check before you change direction, and you check before you change speed. That's speeding up and slowing down. So if you're stopped in traffic and you move, you want to check. If you need to stop at the side of the road, you check. If you're going to change your position, you check. If you're doing something unpredictable, you should see what other people are doing so they can react to you and you can react to them reacting to you. Wait, no, just sticking with that, yep. <laughs> no, yeah. Be aware of them so you know you can act appropriately and don't yeah, hit there we them. Go. So if you want to turn left at the end of the road, check your mirrors. Oh, there's a cyclist behind me. Still signal, still turn left at the end of the road, but you know there's a cyclist there, so before you make that turn, you'll make sure they're staying behind you. Uh -huh. And the highway code says you should give way to uh, cyclists at junctions. But don't wait for them. If a cyclist is waiting behind you, still do your turn. You ready? Stop. Move away when you're ready. And every time you miss a mirror, I'll point it out. So we're focusing on mirrors now. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the thing they taught me to test. Just look in the mirrors more than you actually are. As long as you look like you're looking, it's impossible for someone to fault you on it. See how many mirrors that was? That was... I don't advise that. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> oh, you don't? You don't think that's a good test? You're in the middle of the road. Look where you're going. Okay. Yeah, that, you're not really looking where you're going, are you? Look where you're going. Just remember to check them when you change. You, you do the important ones. That's an important one. Second road right. It's just after this one on the right here. Second road. This one coming up now on the right. See it? Yes. Should have mirrored before. So there was no mirrors and signal there. None <laughs> at all. What you need to do is check your mirrors before that road and then signal as soon as you pass that road. Yeah. This is a weird one. Let's see if this works. Let's see if me telling you when you're not doing it. What about those pedestrians? Are they all right? They're not crossing, are they? They are no. waiting for you. It's a debate about whether I should wait for them. I think if they wanted to go, they'd gone a long time ago. <laughs> they waiting there long before you moved in there. So, me. next road right, please. Okay, I can do that. Okay, good, you did your mirrors and signal, but you're in the middle of the road. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it brief. Clutch down, please, when you do the gear stick. I don't know what I did wrong with the gears there. Ooh. You didn't prepare yourself. You stayed in the middle of the road. You should have got back to your side of the road and taken more time. You've gone slower. Yeah. Instead of turning right when you didn't have the car ready. No mirrors when you went back to your side of the road. No. <laughs> it's going to start getting annoyed soon. <laughs> yeah. This usually, this, I, I find this works. Can do. It depends on the pupil. Got to read the pupil. I might just rage quit and want, run home, you know, like. I think you actually checked them there, <laughs> and I think you sort of checked them appropriately because you did it quickly and briefly to see what's there instead of looking behind and losing your position. Nope, no mirror checks there. End of road, yep. left. Okay. You're right, it's going to grate on me. Okay, I can do this. Yeah, so was... now you're starting to make it more of a challenge. You want to do this now yourself, don't you? Yeah. You're taking responsibility. Try not to lift the clutch when your foot's on the brake there. The car nearly stalled. Yep. You know that, don't you? We've explained that. Yeah, yeah. So you lift the clutch when your foot's on the gas. Did you feel the car struggle? You did the mirrors! <laughs> See, I, I need to look forwards more. I'm starting to look at you too much. You didn't that time when you moved back in. No. But... You know... For... In fact, no, I'm going to do what I normally do. I'm looking at you too much. I'm playing up for the camera because I don't want to miss a mirror <laughs> check. I'll just look when I think you should be checking. And if you don't check then, well, you've yeah. missed it. Okay. So I can see in the corner of my eye anyway. Where are we headed? End of road left. You didn't check your mirrors for that parked car, I don't think. No, I checked the wrong mirror. End of mirror left. So end of end of road left. <laughs> so no mirrors, no signal for this road. No. Mirror I... signal manoeuvre. Okay, I'm completely wrong. <laughs> I was thinking if you got your, your anticipation better, which you sort of have. I mean, you did that junction a bit dodgy earlier, but it's not anticipation, I don't think. Okay, okay, yeah, better. Bit too long though. Don't don't play up for me. <laughs> you want to be as quick as you can. 
and do it before you turn. You should be doing it as you're passing the car. I just think next there's a road, zero next, percent chance of next there road being left, a cyclist. Next road left. Next road left. Okay. Sorry to shush you, but I needed. No, to no, that's important. Yeah. <laughs> tell you where we to gotta go. We got to go places. That's what cars are for. See, did you mirror his signal? Okay, it's starting to happen. It's starting to. Check right. Oh, really wait. Good. Up. Good. You see an improvement already. I don't know how many minutes this is. <laughs> so it's about changing what I do until I find what works. You check the mirrors. <laughs> Don't make it obvious for me. Just, yeah, just no, I, I, quick. I, I am. I'm trying to. I advise checking it. them before you steer, not when you steer. Before you, yeah, yeah. Okay, I can see that you're you're well more. It's working. I don't know how many minutes. How many? Is this ten minutes? I hope not too many. This video is going to be too long. <laughs> Next road left. Okay, mirrors and signal. We're getting there. I didn't think it would take too long. <laughs> the awareness and planning, that was the main one. That was the, the more tricky one. I would have let the car roll into the road before you stopped. And, and then the you could stop. the down so the gear was Yeah, you weird should, keep, you should yeah. need it fully down. Because you can stop here and then see, but stopping back there didn't help you. No. I didn't see any mirrors to move out around that car. No, that's... I don't know if you found this video helpful. I hope you have. Um, if you've seen Andrew improve, do you feel like you've improved? Yeah, yeah. For British town driving, I feel like I've gone from like a two to like a seven yeah. or the six. It's it's high up there. We've been doing what I call module two roads. Module two is where you learn how to deal with the road, parked cars, junctions, zebra crossings, like pedestrian crossings, uh, mini roundabouts, roundabouts. Although we haven't done any roundabouts yet. Uh, module three is more dual carriageway, 70 mile an hour roads, fast country roads, multiple lane complex junctions. That's not what we've been doing today. We're focusing on this. I feel a lot more comfortable. And this is not normal. You would not, a, a, a learner driver does not pick it up as quickly as this. Yeah, I'm really Where you did that. that, that test was like, I was feeling uneasy often. <laughs> and I've, I don't know how much practice and help I've given you, probably an hour or so and the driving's improved immensely. If I was teaching a new driver, I would uh, take a lot longer, take a lot more patience, and we'll, you wouldn't pick it up as quickly. You'd be doing a similar thing in many ways, but you just have to wait longer. It's taking you a while to get your mirrors. You're <laughs> yes. really not used to doing those. I think you'd pass your test and go, oh, mirrors, what are they for? <laughs> Doing your makeup, I guess. High speed and low speed. That's my, my that's my mind. Like you know, you're going 30 plus mirrors all the time when you're changing lanes. You're going two. You got to keep on doing this. Anything in between, I just isn't in my brain to do mirrors. But you need to always see what's behind you. That's a useful lesson. It's like being a ninja. It's like being aware of your surroundings. <laughs> so if you do need to react, at least you know what's there. But saying that, if you need to do an emergency stop, you need to do an emergency stop, don't you? Yeah. That's, uh... <laughs> But it does help. It, me knowing what's around me does help. And I was explaining to Andrew, a lot of experienced drivers don't check their mirrors, yet they're still safe. And that's because, to be fair, I mean, if I'm driving, I know if there's a car behind me, I don't need to check every so often to see that. If a car starts overtaking me, I notice without doing the regular checks. But it is an added help because sometimes I do miss things and that check does think, oh, well, didn't notice them there. It does happen. Mm -hmm. So it does make it safer. If you found the video helpful or interesting, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're looking for car insurance, check out the links to Collingwood and Confused in the description. If you're learning to drive and want to insure yourself on somebody else's car, then Collingwood are there for you because you can do so without affecting the owner's policy, which takes away a big stress from the owner of that car. Via the link, that's up to 35% off and a £20 Amazon gift card at the moment. If you want to insure your own car, I recommend checking out the links to confuse.com. You fill out one quote form and get loads of quotes back to compare who's cheapest and you can change your car on that quote as much as you like or as many times as you like to compare how much it costs to insure different cars. It's really useful if you're in the market for a car and you're thinking, well, how much does it cost to insure them? Well, do one quote on confused.com and you can just change the reg number for the car on that quote as many times as you like and it gives you a different price. Using the links doesn't cost you anything, but it does support the channel. So thank you very much. Subscribe to get my future videos and until the next one, cheerio.